follow up to the eight pen questions that Simona and Leanne Likes did, which I haven't yet done. I really want to get that done. This one was started by, let me get this right, Kendall Explores Fountain Pens. I think that's what it is. And I was tagged by my friend Sarah of Ginger Peachy Pench. Thank you, thank you, Sarah. Seems we're going backwards though. There was eight pen questions, now there's seven. Six pen questions must be next, I guess. I don't know. So, there are some rules. Seriously, Kendall? Really? We get one point for each question we answer with two or less items. A ten points in total we can get. And there's a time limit. Again, seriously, Kendall? I can get wordy in my intros. But apparently intros don't count. But then again, if you're looking at the total vid video, they have to count. So, if the video is less than 12 minutes, you get three points. If the video is less than 60 minutes, you get two points. And if videos is less than 20 minutes, you just get one point. So I'm going to try to do this in one take. Challenge is accepted. Let's go. Let's go. Number one, pens you own that deserve a shout out, possibly lesser known or talked about. The first one I have is the Mahjong Mini. Can you see that beauty? Oh my gosh. So the Mahjong Mini, just, that's it. That's it. It's so cool. So cool. I just love this pen. I just love this pen. Get you one. Go get you one. And then the other pen I have that I want to give a shout out to is the Jin Hao 9019. I have it in the transparent red. This is the one that introduced me to the girth of pens, you know. And I love writing with this pen. This was um, part of my experiment with um, Jin Hao October currently inked. Love this pen. Absolutely love this pen. Okay. <clears throat> so now, second is, part of it is the first... So yeah, I got a phone call on my phone that one take was not going to be it. Anyway, second one is if you haven't tried, inks you haven't tried that you already know you wouldn't like. That's easy for me. Any ink that writes like. Any ink that writes like. I am such a vibrant color person that just count them all out immediately. Don't even show them to me. Don't want to know. Don't want to know. Number three, favorite on-the-go notebook and favorite notebook for work or, or your office. So favorite on-the-go notebook is... This is, I don't have to do that. This is the Muji notebook. It is a blank notebook. I like it because it's just really, and it's blank. Did I say that already? I probably did. Um, it's a blank notebook. I use it for my top three and five tasks only. That's the only thing that's going in here. And I get those top three and five tasks. For s the second part of that is something you have for um, work or, or, or office. The one I have that I use all the time is the WTM. Now this is something I actually designed myself. Hmm. It is the WTM is the weekly task minder because I really need to stay on top of stuff and I realized that di um, um, what is it? digital wasn't helping me so I just designed something that could be on my desk. Anyway, there is that. That's it. Let's go to the next one. A somewhat unique symbol you use in your writing or notebooks. And I have a few that I use, but the one that comes to mind for me right now is, it's called a, I call it a corner arrow, or I don't know what to call it. Anyway, I'm going to put it up here because, I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to put it up because it looks like I have more space there. Yes, going to put more space there. It's for if I need to remember something in particular for a particular task like a phone number that I need to call or a web address I need to remember. So I don't have to go searching in the moment. Or it could be an important step that needs to be taken for that one task that I cannot forget or something about a task that just needs to be highlighted. That's all that is. So it's a corner, it's a corner. This is how I use it. That's how I use it. Okay, that's what that symbol is for. Number five. Pens on your wish list and why? Well, you know, we all have lots of pens on our wish list. The first on my wish list is a Pelican Souverain. I actually just watched Karina Loves to Plan's video on her recent Pelican acquisition. I am so jelly because that was on my list. But I got, a, I got an email recently and it's a new Pelican. Mm. 
And it is the Pelican M600 Red White Special Edition. Oh, love that pen. The second pen that's on my wish list that I want to tell you about is the Santini Italia in Everest. And the reason why these are both on my list, you might have seen it already, is for some odd reason, I love me a white pen. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, I actually want to name another one on my list. And it's actually not a white pen, but I'm not going to because I'm, I'm after maximum points, y'all. Maximum points. But I really want to tell you. I'll tell you another time. Nope, 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 nope. On to the next one. What is the next one? We are up to number four, six, four, six. An item or items on your wish list that is not a pen, but is related to the hobby. And this first one is, because I'm new to the hobby, on my list right now, or fairly new to the hobby, on my list right now is nib tuning supplies. And in particular, I'm talking about shims. I want to be able to correct my nibs, especially when the nib, you've probably, if you've watched any of my videos, you see I've had a little issues with baby's bottom all sorts of stuff. And the second thing on my list is traveling inkwells like Penida or Visconti. And those, I got a, that's on a wish list because those things are expensive. And that's because of the disaster I had on a recent trip abroad with ink spilling from one of the four vials I had in a Ziploc baggie that obliterated the name of the ink. So I don't know what ink it was until I got home. So yeah, a traveling ink system is definitely on my list. And this last one, this last one is really, really, really cool. I love this. Name two accounts you'd like to give a shout out to. Now this took a bit of time because, you know, I want to shout out everybody that I get a real kick out of watching. But I did come up with two and only two. And there are two caveats because, you know, Kendall has to make things difficult for us because he does. Anyway, just joking, Kendall. They have to be preferably lesser known. They don't have to be, but preferably lesser known. Or they can be from a podcast, YouTube channel, Instagram blog, etc. So the first one I want to give a shout out to is Monica of M. Sean Plans. There she is. I just love her easy vibe in videos. It's so cool listening to her and watching her videos. And the second shout out that most of y'all probably know already is Kristen of Life Inspires Design. And there she is. The reason being is because she giggles like me when she gets excited about a new pen. Really? Her San Francisco um, pen show debriefs were freaking hilarious. I think I watched one of them twice because I just love to hear her giggle about the pens. Plus, she is the one fully responsible, I oh, hope you have broad shoulders, Kristen, for getting me on the ink flight train, or should I say plane, because it's a flight, and eh, no matter. The pure joy of getting a new box. Oh, just love it. Okay, that's it for seven pen questions. Who's next? Is it you? Let's see, let's go. Talk to you next time. Thank you.